This program is sponsored by Ava Media. Brilliant quality for a great price. has finally arrived. The first ever race of IFMC is here. Welcome to the Australian Grand Prix in Melbourne. It's been a long hard preparation for this series after being announced in November but we're finally here for the first ever round. So much testing and preparation has happened and so many things kicked off in testing and they're now all going to be put down to this. Well, before we get into anything, let's have a look at the drivers and teams for Season 1, and also the calendar. Let's start off then with AMP Racing. Powered by Audi engines and ran by William Neller, they are looking to be very interesting indeed and looked very good in the wet. The driver lineup is very interesting with an old German lineup. They have gone with 2015 DTM champion Pascal Verlein and he is joined by 2015 Le Mans winner Nico Hulkenberg. Next up is Eldorado F1 team. Ran by Robert Ionescu and powered by Ferrari Engine, they are the only remaining team on the grid and their lineup is looking very interesting. Their testing didn't go as very well with lots of technical problems, but they have hoped to sort it out to before Australia. The driver lineup consists of Mexican driver Sergio Perez and he is joined by Brazilian veteran Felipe Massa. Next up is Etihad Racing. Powered by BMW engines and ran by Oliver Glazebrook, a lot of people are saying that this is the team that held the favourites to win the championship after some brilliant times during testing and especially with their driver lineup as well. They have gone with two-time Formula 1 world champion Fernando Alonso and he is joined by fast finish driver Valtteri Bottas. Next up is GB Racing. Powered by Cosworth Engines and ran by Alex Southgate, the team is running an old British lineup and even their test driver is British as well. Testing didn't go well for them as they were sloundering at the back but they hope to be in the midfield during the season. Their driver lineup will consist of former GP2 and Mercedes test driver Sam Bird, and he is joined by 2009 Formula 1 world champion Jensen Button. Next up is George Roke Motorsport. Powered by Cosworth Engines and ran by George Roke, this is a very experienced manager team as previously ran in FF1M. Their driver lineup is looking very interesting, although, test drive, although their testing didn't go very well for them. They suffered from mechanical problems but got better in Catalonia and hope to continue that progress. Their driver lineup will consist of fast Australian Daniel Ricciardo and he is joined by super fast Dutch teenager Max Verstappen. Next up is Monster Grand Prix. Ran by Waze Cuba and powered by Mercedes engines, they are the only team that is Belgian. Even one of their drivers is Belgian as well. Testing went quite okay for them, they were looking in the midfield but so far the team haven't made any upgrades, they hope that will change. The driver lineup though will consist of Belgium Jerome D'Ambrosio and he is joined by fast Dutchman Robin Frins. His, his seat was originally meant to be taken by Alex Young but was dropped before the season began. Next up is Morange Orange Racing. Ran by Matthew Orange and powered by Lamborghini engines, their driver lineup is very interesting. Their slot was originally meant to be taken by Team Oscar, but they pulled out after day 3 RF after an engine dispute. Driver lineup though, they will consist of very fast German Nico Rosberg and he is joined by two time Indy 500 winner Juan Pablo Montoya. He was a Team Oscar driver before they pulled out. His seat was originally meant to be taken by Adrian Suttil, but was dropped after the Estrel test due to poor performances. Next up is Scuderia Racing. Powered by Ferrari engines and ran by James Willows, this team has also had a tricky start to the testing, but have definitely improved with consistent updates and have got Vettel and Ocon better in the, line, in the leaderboards. 
The driver lineup, as mentioned, they have gone with four time Formula 1 world champion Sebastian Vettel, and he is joined by a young Frenchman, Esteban Ocon. Next up is SIC. Ran by Aswell Zafri and powered by Porsche engine, they had a very good testing, especially in Catalonia, when they managed to get into the top three. They'll be hoping they continue that and become consistent podium finishers. The driver lineup is actually an all Formula E driver lineup. They have gone with Mr. Reliable Nick Heifeld and he is joined by fast Mexican Salvador Duran. Next up is Schmidt Incorporated. Powered by Mercedes engines and ran by Kailash Schmidt, their team name is actually Schmidt Racing Incorporated. They have also had an okay session and quite similar to Monster Grand Prix who are also running Mercedes engines as well. They haven't had any upgrades as well yet but they hope that will change if anything goes wrong. The driver lineup is very interesting being the only Dutch team on the grid. They have gone with 2007 Formula 1 world champion Kimi Raikkonen and he is joined by Frenchman Romain Grosjean. And last but not least Thomas Cook Sport. They were originally called Best Bob Racing but got changed to Thomas Cook Sport instead. So the battle of the airlines between Etihad and Thomas Cook. This has been one of the teams who might challenge Etihad because of their lineup and very interesting engine which is an Audi engine. They're ran by Robert Hunter and their driver lineup consists of four time Formula 1 world champion Lewis Hamilton and he is joined by Australian Mark Webber who was a team Oscar driver before the team pulled out. His seat was originally meant to be taken by Carlos Sainz Jr but was dropped after day 3 of Estrell similar to Sutil due to poor performances. And here is the calendar for season 1. It's the same as the 1996 Formula 1 season, but with a little bit of an adjustment. Round 1 will take place in Australia, with Round 2 being in Brazil. Round 3 is in Argentina, Round 4 is at Nürburgring for the European Grand Prix. Then Round 5 will be at the San Marino Grand Prix in Imola, before heading their way to the Principality of Monaco and Monte Carlo for the Monaco Grand Prix. Round 7 will take place in Catalonia at the Spanish Grand Prix, with Round 8 being in Canada in Montreal. Round 9 takes place in Manicourt for the French Grand Prix, whilst Round 10 will be at the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. Round 11 will be at the German Grand Prix in Hockenheim, whilst Round 12 is at the Hungarian Grand Prix in Budapest. Round 13 is at Belgium for the, at Spa Francorchamps, the longest track on the calendar, with Round 14 taking place in Monza at the Italian Grand Prix. The penultimate race will take place in Austria in Spielberg for the Austrian Grand Prix. That is the adjusted track as that was originally meant to be the Portuguese Grand Prix, however due to modding issues it is instead Austria. And the final race will take place at the Japanese Grand Prix in Suzuka. So there you go, they are the teams, drivers and calendar for season 1, very interesting indeed. Now usually at this point we would have a qualifying report, however due to a technical issue which you might have seen on Twitch, this was unable to happen, as originally there was a different grid for the race, but due to a technical problem in the race with the lights and the cars not going, we had to change the grid a little bit. So instead, here is the grid for the Australian Grand Prix. So, here is the grid then for the Australian Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso took the first ever pole position with Valtteri Bottas alongside making an all Etihad front row. Lewis Hamilton will start in third with Nico Rosberg in fourth. Pascal Verlein is in fifth with Nico Hulkenberg in sixth. Salvador Duran seventh with Mark Webber eighth not getting close to his teammate Lewis Hamilton. In ninth place is Sebastian Vettel and Esteban Ocon is in 10th, so the Scuderias round out row 5. The Eldorados round out row 6 with Felipe Massa 11th and Sergio Perez in 12th. Nick Heifeld is 13th with Juan Paolo Montoya a disappointing 14th, nowhere near the pace of his teammate Nico Rosberg. In 15th is Robin Frins with Kimi Raikkonen in 16th. Then it's the two GRMs locking out row 8 with Daniel Ricciardo 17th and Max Verstappen in 18th. In 19th it is um, Roman Grosjean with Jerome D'Ambrosio in 20th and at the back it's the two GB racing cars of Sam Bird in 21st and Jensen Button in 22nd. So there is the grid for the Australian Grand Prix. So there is the grid for the Australian Grand Prix, very interesting indeed. Well that's all we've got to talk about so let's get on to the race then. So. Let's get into this.
So, here we go then. Alonso on pole, Bottas second, and let's just wait for the race to start. One light. Please, please fingers crossed. I'm not going to say anything until they go. And let's go here in Melbourne. We're on the way. And it's a good start for Bottas on the front row. He's side by side with Alonso. Alonso hasn't got the best of starts. Bottas takes the lead. Hamilton trying to push his way into second place as well. But Alonso trying to hang it around the outside. And Alonso keeps the lead. So Bottas second, Hamilton third, and Ocon's made a fantastic start. He's got up to fourth position. Rosberg fifth, Verlein sixth, with Weber seventh, and Hulkenberg eighth, Duran ninth, Montoya tenth, with Massa eleventh, Vettel down to twelve at the moment. D'Ambrosio has made a fantastic start. And then we have Heifeld fifteenth, Friend sixteenth, Reichen in seventeenth, Ricardo eighteenth, Verstappen nineteenth, Bird twentieth, and they one of the GB cars got in front of the Schmitz. But in 22nd, so at the front, Alonso leads. He started to pull away a little bit from the pack, but Hamilton trying to keep onto the back of Bottas. So Hamilton tucked up behind uh, Bottas at the moment, but Hamilton not quite close enough at the moment. Ocon making a fantastic start, getting up to fourth position. Rosberg at the moment, then in fifth, in front of the uh, one of the AMP cars. I think that is. Uh, which one is that? That is... I can't quite tell who that is, but he's looking to the inside of Rosberg into the chicane, but not quite. Rosberg shutting the door there, indeed. It was Verline who was having a, a lunge at him. Weber kind of lonely at the moment. So, Hulkenberg at the moment holding on that points position at the moment. Duran down in ninth at the moment. So, now Duran having a look to the outside of Hulkenberg, but not quite. And it looks like Vettel's being attacked from behind, but Vettel keeps the door shut on Perez uh, for the time being. So, not the best of starts then from Sebastian Vettel at the moment. So look at the gap that Alonso's got already on the pack. Alonso leads the Grand Prix with Bottas second, but he might be down to third moment because Hamilton's having a look to the outside. Hamilton trying to take second off Bottas, but Bottas keeping the door shut for the tight being. Hamilton trying his best to get past the Etihad car of Vatteri Bottas. So Hamilton looking to the outside and now darting to the inside. Is Hamilton going to get second? And he can. Lewis Hamilton meets up into second place. So fantastic move then from Lewis Hamilton. Great stuff indeed in this 58 lap race at the moment. Whilst Alonso pulls away from the pack at the moment. As we've got an interesting fight for fourth at the moment between Rosberg and Ocon. Ocon slipping into the clutches. And look at this then. So Ocon. Keeping Rosberg back for the time being. Round the right-hander. And uh, and it looks like he's got Verline in the, in the fight as well. So, some interesting scraps getting on the way at the moment. Ocon holding up this train at the moment. He might get more cars at the moment. Because Weber's trying to get involved in that scrap as well. In this race, Rosberg's taking fourth off Ocon. And Ocon's losing loads of position. So, I think we need to get a replay of that. So let's see. So Ocon had already been passed by Rosberg at this point. But here's Verline. Let's see how he got him. So Verline got him into turn one. And took fifth position easily off Ocon. And now Ocon's fell into the clutches of Mark Webber. So uh, looks like Ocon's slipping backwards at the moment. So uh, let's resume from this point. Webber looking to the outside. Now it ducks to the end. Oh, contact! There's contact that's been made between Ocon and Webber. Ocon goes for a spin. And I don't know if that, that would probably be investigated for that. Because that looked like an aggressive overtake there from Mark Webber. And now it looks like Ocon is going to drop to the back of the pack. And, uh, wow. There he goes. Ocon rejoins. But what, um... Stuff going on at the moment there. Unless Ocon turned in, I do not know. But, um... Wow, that's dropped Ocon to the back of the pack. James Wellers is not going to be a happy man. I'm wondering if he's going to have a few words with Robert Hunter, the team boss, over there at the moment. So the gaps are pretty consistent at the moment. The pack's starting to spread out a little bit. Just trying to find some battles that are going on onto the track at the moment. At the moment then. So we're on lap four now. And, uh... We've got a big scrap going on. Heifeld tucked up at the back of Vettel at the moment. Vettel defending the inside of Nick Heifeld at the moment. But, he but Vettel keeping him uh, keeping him bay at the moment. So Heifeld's going to have to think of plan B down the straight. And um, so now down to the inside. And what is uh, Heifeld going to do? He's going down to the inside of Vettel. And he takes a lamp off the four-time world champion. So Vettel is going backwards. So Vettel has been overtaken by Nick Heifel. What is going on with Sebastian Vettel at the moment? This is not good from a four-time Formula 1 world champion. 
uh, from the pack, and it seems that everybody's, you know, spreading themselves out a little bit as uh, Duran seems to lose track of Weber at the minute. So, um, in fact, Perez is overtaking uh, Sebastian Vettel at the moment. So Vettel's going backwards all of a sudden. What is going on? So, um, through turn two, and. Um, well, what is going on with Sebastian Vettel at the minute? He's just dropping places all of a sudden. Is he on like a heavy fuel load or something? Uh, I'll be interested to see. Uh, yes, he is actually. So Sebastian Vettel, the reason why he's dropping backwards is because he's on a heavy fuel load. So, um, yeah, so that's probably why Vettel is dropping back positions. Maybe uh, because he's probably on a longer strategy than most of the pack out onto the track at the moment. So, um... Yeah, so now approaching turn number 9 and then turn 10. And uh, we need to see what the gap is like actually between him and Nico Rosberg. Rosberg currently in 4th position at the moment in the Mind Joint Racing car. And uh, so it'll be interested to see how he's getting on at the moment. And um, so Rosberg currently in 4th position at the moment through the left. And Ocon's out! Let's find Ocon's out of the race! So what's happened to Ocon? Let's see, he was near the back of the field, wasn't he? What happened to him? Oh, he just missed it. So we're going to have to view the replay uh, yet again. And uh, there you go. It's a transmission problem. So Esteban Ocon is out of the race. He's the first retirement of IFMC. And Ocon has pulled off to the side of the track and he's out of the Grand Prix. So disappointing indeed from him. So we're now down to 21 runners in the race. So, um, yeah, so Vettel now then, round the, um, uh, round the left-hander, and then round there, and then he'll get on a tap of the brakes through the left, and we've got a yellow flag, we've got a yellow flag, oh, we've got an engine, that is Nico Hulkenberg, Hulkenberg has got an engine failure, so we need to go to Hulkenberg to see when that happened, and there you go, Hulker. Hulkenberg's engine has expired, but not in f on fire as it was in Estrel. So Nico Hulkenberg becomes the second retirement and he's out of the Australian Grand Prix. So that's another retirement added to the list then. Hulkenberg is now out and that puts Juan Pablo Montoya in a points position. And then round turn four. And... Um, so I'll remember for next time, guys, uh, for the Australian for when I do qualifying in the race uh, and practice sessions as well. I will save two different files. So one of them will be X patch files for practice and uh, what was I going to say? The practice sessions as Alonso pits. So Alonso Fernando Alonso is in the pits. So Fernando is the first person to pit. It looks like Jensen Button actually went off for a trip in the gravel. Let's have a look. Yes, he did. He locked up very wide indeed and has dropped to 21st, so the back of the pack. So Button has gone for a little off-track excursion and now has dropped to the back. So that's disappointing there for Jensen Button. So Hamilton now takes the lead because if you look, Alonso's in the pits. I hope you like the uh, the, the pit mechanics that I've made and also the uh, the where the stands are for the pit, for the... the uh, the, the team bosses and all of that, I made them myself, so if you like them, please give it, please tell me in the chat. Um, try to get it as close as I can to the cars as well, so Alonso has rejoined in fourth position, so that's his pit stop completed, and he rejoins behind Nico Rosberg, uh, so that means Lewis Hamilton for now leads the Grand Prix, so, um, and now we've got another person in the pit, and it is Pascal Verlein, and he's finished his pit stop. He's pitted on lap 19, so where's he going to rejoin? He was battling with Rosberg, so we're hoping to maybe, if he can get some good hot laps, maybe uh, undercut him in the pits. So, um, leap, him, leap him into the pits, leapfrog him in the pits, I should say. And he rejoins in 12th place behind Sebastian Vettel. So, Vettel will not be pitting yet because he's on a heavy fuel load. So, and now into the pits comes Robin Friends from 13th position. He was behind, um, what you call, what's his name? Um, Sebastian Vettel and uh, yeah quite non-animated um, pit mechanics there guys I do apologize for that uh, it's just it was just the 2000s back then it was just they, they didn't they didn't have the technology to make mechanics move in the pits then so um, yeah that's all the pit stops so far so Hamilton's staying out for another lap so he's not pitting just yet 
nor is Valtteri Bottas. And Alonso's gone into third position. It looks like he's passed Rosberg somewhere out on the track, so unseen by the cameras. He has passed Nico Rosberg. So Alonso has moved up into third position. Rosberg's staying out another lap, so he wants to make sure that he's not that he gets some good laps in so that Furline doesn't uh, uh, leapfrog him in the pits. Duran stays out. So at the moment, nobody's pitting on this lap. At the moment, we're looking at Montoya. Is he deciding to duck into the pits this lap? Let's see. No, he doesn't. He's staying out for another lap. Felipe Massa, who's currently in a battle with Nick Heifer at the moment. Look at that. Nick Heifer's actually got closer to him on this lap. So through the second to last corner then. And is any of them deciding to pit? No, they're not. They're staying out for the moment. Nor is Sergio Perez. And, of course, Vettel, who has got Verline all over the back of him at the moment. Verline wants to dispose of him as quick as he can because he's in a battle with Rosberg. So down a pit straight then. Verline tucked up to the back of Sebastian Vettel. Is he going to get him into turn one? Looking to the inside of the Scuderia driver. And down the pit straight. And is he going to get the lead? He's going to shot it. Verline and Vettel are off. Both of them off, both Germans are off, but Verline managing to take the lead anyway. So what on earth happened there indeed? We need to get a replay, I think. Oh, accidentally turned the occupancy on there. So I think we need to have a look at Vettel and see what he saw. So Ryan on ball with him, he's defending to the right. And next thing he knows, he sees Verline shot and Vettel just has nowhere to go but to the gravel. So um, no advantage was gained there, but that was just one weird way to overtake indeed. But now that's brought Vettel back into play. Vettel's now looking to the inside of Pascal Verline, But Verline having none of it. Defends the inside. And Verline takes the level. But that's going to cost him some time um, to leapfrog um, Nico Rosberg. So that's... I'll tell you what. That is one way to overtake someone. As we've got a battle for 16th going on. As there's somebody in the pit. And that is Sam Bird. So he's pitted on this lap. And let's see what his time is like in the pits. And... Uh, Putting on for another set of fuel, so it looks like he'll be two stopping in this race as well because that will not be enough to get to the end of the race unless he preserves. But I doubt it because there is refueling, so the drivers can push as much as they can, not preserve, which is always good to see now and again. So, third rejoins in last place behind his teammate. Rosberg stays out for another lap because I think he's probably been given the call by Matthew Orange to say that Verline has been off the track. And uh, it's probably lost him some time. So, um, yeah, so lots of things going on in this race. As, it, as the two Eldorados are grouped together at the moment. Perez on the back of uh, Massa. And it looks like Heifeld's actually overtook Massa. So Heifeld has got up into eighth position. So unseen by the car. Oh, my engine's gone. That looks like an engine's gone. Felipe Massa's got an engine failure. Or is that a water leak? It's an engine failure. So... Third retirement, Felipe Massa is out of the Australian Grand Prix. And that's another retirement added to the list. And wow, so many issues going on in this race. Massa out of the race with an engine failure. And uh, wow, what a shame. After good, after such an exciting warm-up by getting to the top for, mo for the end of the session. He's now, engine has come to blow and it's going all over Pascal Verline. Verline and now Mass is pulling off to the side of the track, the same point where Vettel pulled off uh, in warm up, and uh, Vettel's getting a plunge of it. And I don't know if Vettel actually hit him there, I do not know. But Vettel is now moved up to 11th. So Felipe Massa is now out of the Australian Grand Prix, and what a shame indeed. So now we have 19 runners left in the race. So, Massa now out of the race. And Rosberg's now in the pit. So, Rosberg in the pit. Hamilton just came in as well. Alonso looks like he's going to retake the lead. So, here is Rosberg's mechanics. A bit of glitch there from... A bit glitchy there from the... Um, what you call it? Rosberg now out of the pit lane. And let's see what he's going to... Where he's going to come out. Where is Verline on the track? That's the thing. Berline is coming down the pit straight, but I think Rosberg has done enough. And yes, he's rejoined well in front of Verline. And Duran has came out in 10th place in front of Sebastian Vettel. Vettel's still yet to pit at the moment. I think he might be on a one-stop strategy yet at the moment. Uh, so, yeah. So, there's the GRMs in 12th and 13th at the moment. They've got Grosjean for company behind. Friends 15th, Raikkonen 16th, Button 17th. 
Bottas at the moment now leads the Grand Prix, but I'm pretty sure that he'll be pitting quite soon. There's his teammate Fernando Alonso in the background. I don't think um, Alonso will be racing the effort to overtake him because he knows that Bottas will be pitting quite soon. And speaking of which, here he comes. So into the pits then uh, uh, comes um, what you call it is um, forgot what it's called now. So into the pits then comes. Uh, Valtteri Bottas and so there is the um, he's parked in his boxes so um, how everyone is lined up in the pit lane is quite simple it's in alphabetical order of the teams so in the first garage you've got AMP then it is uh, El Dorado then Etihad then GB Racing then GRM then Monster then Mario Jones Racing, and then it is Scuderia Racing, then SIC, then Schmidt, and then Thomas Cook. So, Thomas Cook's the last uh, pit lane in the pits. Valtteri Bottas rejoins in fourth, as Weber is still yet to pit at the moment, I believe. Yes, but he's on a one-stop strategy, it seems. And Mark Weber is on a one-stop strategy, so like his former Red Bull teammate, Sebastian Vettel, he's going on to a one-stop uh, strategy as well. Rosberg currently in fifth at the moment. Heifeld still yet to pit. As uh, Verline has got Duran all over the back of him. Duran having an attack. Trying to have a lunge down into turn number three. Is Duran going to get the job done? Perez just came into the pit. And Duran takes some off Verline. So Duran moves up. Oh, we've got a yellow flag somewhere. We have got a yellow flag. What's going on? We have a yellow flag for some reason. And uh, Vettel! It's Sebastian Vettel! Sebastian Vettel is out of the Australian Grand Prix! Oh, what a shame. The Scuderiers are out of the race. Both Scuderiers have been taken out. And Sebastian Vettel is out. Both Scuderiers are out. And James Willows is not a happy man indeed. So Sergio Perez uh, is rejoining now from the track. A bit of shame for the um, uh, for Scuderia. They'll have to work hard for the next race. Vett Hamilton going down to the inside. That looks like he's a little bit deep. But Hamilton made it stick. Hamilton moves up into... Second place, so we're not putting up too much of a fight. I don't think we put a bit of a fight up, but not too much to the point where they were going to make contact. So Weber now concentrating on his fuel strategy because he is on a one-stop strategy. And um, so at this point, the pack, lots of cars again starting to get lap. And what's going on here? Uh, but I want to need to have a look at a replay of that. What was going on here? So it looks like that Duran was having a look at Heifeld for uh, sixth position. And uh, let's see. And it just seemed that Heifel just hung it around the outside. And now Verline has came into play. So both SICs are um, in a battle at the moment. But they've now brought Verline into play. Verline looking to the outside. And is he going to get past? No. It seemed that Duran has, sh has shut the door. So that is... Um, Good for him. So um, I think the only team that's probably worried right now is El Dorado because if three cars with Ferrari power have retired, he's probably hoping that Perez doesn't have the same issue as Grosjean now into the pits. But now we've got this battle. Um, I'll tell you why in a bit, James. Um, so um, anyway, so now into turns nine and t and it looks like Duran's got sick. Duran has passed Heifel for sixth position. And now Verline on the back of um, Nick Heifeld. Is Verline going to get past Mr. Reliable? No, he's not. He's now looking to the inside of the chicane. But Heifeld shuts the door on him. So um, Heifeld keeping Verline back for the time being. And um, so, yeah. So through turns four and through the second, fourth, the last corner, I should say. Through the third to last corner, Verline tucked up behind Nick Heifeld at the moment. Grosjean has just finished his pit stop as well. So he's finished. So through the second to last corner, then comes Pascal Verline. And now Heifeld ducks into the pit. So Verline didn't need to line up a pass on Nick Heifeld there at all. So Heifeld is now into the pits on lap 24 of um, 58. So, um, yeah. Into the pits comes Heifeld. And then he'll... He will stop at his marks, and then he'll let the mechanics get to work on the car. And he's putting in in that much fuel, so he's got 17.9 litres of fuel onto the car. And then out of the pit lane goes Heifeld. Now, where is he going to rejoin? Heifeld is about to come out the pit lane. 
And he rejoins in 13th position. So through turn one goes Weber. And now Bottas all over the back of him at the moment. So down the straight. And, uh, on, and Weber feeling the need to defend for some reason. So through turn three. And now Bottas is on the back of him. And uh, is Bottas going to line up and move on Mark Webber? Let's see. Flat out. Uh, through uh, turn, turn five. Uh, Bottas looking to the outside. But can't quite get the job done. And there is still. A, and looks like Hamilton's negotiated the traffic. So now these two will have to negotiate the traffic now. As it looks like Grosjean's trying to find a way past Sam Bird up ahead. So um, Bottas still... Trying to find a way past um, Mark Webber. So Tuk Tuk right up behind the Thomas Cook car. And then he just he just couldn't find a way past there at the moment. So through the chicane. Is Bottas going to lunge and move into the fourth to last corner? Let's see. Through the right hander. He's tucked up behind. Is he going to look to the inside? Yes he is. He's going to the inside. Is Webber going to defend the position? Oh so close they were. But Bottas takes third off Mark Webber. So great pass there from Valtteri Bottas. And he's up into third position. So now Weber has got to hope this fuel strategy pays off for him at the moment. So, um, yeah. So, nine, I think there is 18 runners in the Grand Prix left at the moment. Is there any more battles going on onto the track at the moment? The pack's starting to slowly spread out, I think, a little bit. Uh, the battle's kind of done at the moment. Well, there was that battle for 19th, the, for 7, 16th, I think it was, uh, between Bird and Grosjean. Here it is. And they've got Bottas behind as well. Grosjean looking to the outside. But again, Bird defending the inside. And uh, now through turn four. And then flat out through turn five. And let's see. So Bird now then approaching turn six. And defending the inside of Grosjean. So uh, Button could get involved in this. Could get behind his scrap. He's not careful. I bet Grosjean will be hoping that Bottas gives him a help in terms of trying to get of lapping Bird, so then he can get past him. So Bottas has just put a lap on Roman Grosjean, and now Bottas wanting to put a lap on Sam Bird at the moment. So now Bottas looking around the outside, and now to the inside. Bird will have to give him the space. There you go. So is now Grosjean going to get the opportunity to get back on him? He had to turn a little bit sharply through there. Now Grosjean's. Back on the back of him. They've got Weber behind as well. That could lap him. Grosjean tucked up behind. Is he going to look to the inside? Weber is at the moment. So Grosjean can't find a way past just yet. So Weber just lapped uh, Roman Grosjean at the moment. So now through the third to last corner comes Sam Bird. And Weber will be putting a lap on him pretty soon. I'm guessing he's actually going to let him through past this bit as well. So in fact he's having a bit of trouble Mark Weber is trying to lap uh, Sam Bird at the moment, giving him the space. Buttons going into the pits. But now look at this. Grosjean's taking advantage of this. And Grosjean has taken the position of Sam Bird. So the track of it, the traffic has helped Roman Grosjean. And he moves up into 50 position. Grosjean trying to unlap himself there. But Weber having uh, none of it. Button now in the pits. He seemed to be on a heavy fuel load. And it looks like now he's fueled. Let's see. Uh, he is looks like he's now fueled possibly to the end of the race. Maybe he's on a late strategy. I do not know. So, um, B uh, Bird Button now coming out of the pit lane. And he was obviously going to rejoin the last because there's only 18 runners left in this race. So, out the pit lane then goes Jensen Button. And then he will then approach turn 6, 7 and 8. In fact, they're going to be lapped pretty soon by, I think that's Fernando Alonso behind. So, um, <clears throat> I fell then round the right hander, and now he's approaching turn nine and ten. And um, so Weber now in the pit. So Weber is now making, we believe he's won and only stop. And that was close company there between Ricardo and Friends there. So Weber now in the pit, and it does look like he is being possibly fueled to the end of the race. We'll just have to see about that. But now, Weber, this is a very long stop indeed from Weber. And uh, out the pit lane goes Mark Weber. And where is he going to rejoin? Weber is going to rejoin in eighth position. So he rejoins in front, well, not in front of Gentleman because Gentleman has been lapped. He's in front of Perez and rejoins behind Montoya at the moment. So 
Has Montoya made his stop yet at all? Uh, no, he hasn't. So I think Montoya is probably on a one-stop strategy at the moment. Montoya now flat out through turn five. And then he will approach turn six and seven. So through turn six, then through turn seven. And then around turn eight. And let's see what... Well, not let's not see, actually. So Montoya quite lonely at the moment, but... If he's not careful, he's, well, he's even even though he's on a lighter fuel load, his tyres must be going off at this point, which will possibly give Weber the opportunity on his fresh tyres to catch him up, of course. Um, so, uh, yeah, these two used to be Team Oscar teammates before the team pulled out in Jerez. So now they're in separate teams. Weber is now at Thomas Cook and Montoya now at More Enjoyment Racing. They weren't originally meant to be there because um, uh, More Enjoyment Racing were meant to have... Um, what's his name? Um... My joint racing were meant to have Adrian Sutil and Thomas Cook Sport were meant to have Carlos Sainz Jr. But both of them got dropped because of disappointing performances. As Raikkonen has just come into the pits and he was joined also by Max Verstappen. So Verstappen's done his stop on the race. So we're on lap 32 of 58 because Fernando has lapped these guys. And uh, Verline is right behind the traffic in fact. So that's not going to help Pascal Verline uh, any good is it? So... Um, yeah, so now Verline now then into turn number three. And then he'll go around turn four. And let's see. So into turn five then. And then he will go through these corners. And um, let's see. So oops, let me just uh, do something, guys. So um, yep, so... Now we are approaching turns 9 and 10. And uh, Verline at the moment still uh, doing a solid job at the moment. But he'll want to be higher of course. I don't think it helped when he when he overtook Vettel off in the gravel. So um, yeah that won't help uh, Pascal Verline any good. Daniel Ricciardo is now in the pits. So where is he? Here he is into the pit. Daniel Ricciardo is now in the pits. And uh, let's see. So. Putting some fuel in the car and how long is he fueled up for? So, so he Ricardo is being fueled to the end of the race. So Ricardo was on a one-stop strategy. So Ricardo now rejoins in. He rejoins in 15th position at the moment. So Ricardo rejoins in that position and um, so yeah. So Ricardo rejoins in. Um, What's the position? Uh, oh yeah, see, he rejoins in 15. So, um, yeah, so Montoya now through turn four. No, sorry, went through turn four, in fact. And uh, still closing up to Montoya as best as he can. So it looks like we're going to get a battle for seventh place through turn six, seven, and turn eight. And uh, let's see how he copes as. Oh, we've got a problem! Somebody's got a problem! Kimi Raikkonen is out of the race. Kimi Raikkonen is out. So that's the fifth retirement today. And Kimi Raikkonen retires with transmission problems. So Kimi Raikkonen has now pulled off the side of the track. And Raikkonen is out of the Australian Grand Prix. And what a shame for the 2007 Formula 1 World Champion. So... Raikkonen adds to the list of retirements in the race. So, um... Yeah, so that's happened. So Lewis Hamilton still in second place at the moment as we look at Valtteri Bottas. He's approaching Robin Friends for traffic. So there's now 17 runners left in this race. And uh, Duran doing well in fifth at the moment. So Fairline still looking. And now Verstappen's got a problem. Verstappen with an engine problem now. And Montoya's out. We've got a list of retirements going on. Montoya is now out of the race. Where was he on the track? I'll have to get back on the replay to see where Montoya is. So bear with me, guys. We're going to try and find him. And where is he? So Montoya, uh, I can't see him on the track. I think we've just... Where is he? Um... I think we'll have to go to Weber for this one, in fact, to see um, what's happened. So, 
Montoya is out of the race and we were unable to catch it. So Montoya is now out of the race. Uh, and we're interested to see what that is like. But Montoya is now out of the race as is Verstappen. So now that's uh, 15 runners left in the race. Verstappen has now got a... What is it? He's got an engine problem. So another one with an engine failure. The cause of engine gives up the ghost. And out goes Max Verstappen. So that's disappointing indeed. And now Hamilton getting a cough, fumes of smoke in his face. So, um... I don't know who's in the points now as a result of this. So um, I know Weber's now moved up to 7th as a result of Montoya's retirement. So um, yeah, so everyone is dropping like flies at the minute. So um, Verstappen now out of the race. And uh, we're just going to wait for him to pull off the track. He's doing a good job trying to get as far as he can before his engine gives up the ghost and cuts out. So... Um, yeah, so Verstappen now out of the race, and um, well, that's that really. And we're just going to wait for him to pull off the side of the track. He's slowing, he's slowing, and I think his engine's given up the ghost, has it? Not yet, it's still going, but it is dying, and I think he's going to pull off pretty soon. He's still going, in fact, unless he wants to make it back to the pits, which, he, which is possible to repair on the game for some reason. But he's not. It seems that it is too terminal for it to be repaired. And he'll be pulling off the track pretty soon. I don't know when. And he's still going. So the engine uh, still going on at the moment. And uh, now he's given up. He's given up. Verstappen out of the race. And now we're down to 15 runners. So that's bitter luck for Max Verstappen. He's out of the Grand Prix. And, uh, well, and there's a car park there. He'll be joined by Sebastian Vettel's car as well. And another marshal will have to push that out the way to make sure, you know, that there's a bit of space there. On the back of D Jerome D'Ambrosio, through, so through the left, then the right. And now then, on the right-hander, and is he going to launch an attack on Jerome D'Ambrosio? D'Ambrosio feeling the need to defend. Prinz is now in the pits. So Robin Prinz has come into the pits, as has Grosjean for their second stops. So Prinz is the first to make a second stop in the race, as they are on lap 38, that is, because... Um, or 39 now, because Alonso has lapped these guys. So lap 39 of 58. So including that lap, we have... Um, I'm trying to think now. We have 20 laps to go. So we have 20 laps to go in this race. No, not 20 laps to go. 21 laps to go in this No, yeah, yeah. yeah. 20, 20 la 21 laps to go. So, um, 21 laps to go then for race leader Fernando Alonso as Perez comes into the pits. And uh, now it's uh, 20 laps to go then for Fernando Alonso. And um, so Perez now in the pits from 8th position. And he's making a second stop of the race. And, um, well, let's see. So, Perez now then uh, exits from his box. And where is Perez going to rejoin? Perez is going to rejoin. Let's see. He rejoins in... Let's see, he rejoins in ninth position. So Perez rejoins just outside the point, so he's only lost a position. And uh, so, yeah, that's that. So Duran, we're looking at Duran now, who's, again, looking quite lonely, not catching up to Nico Rosberg for the time being. And uh, it looks like Ricardo is being lapped. At the... No, he's passed Jerome D'Ambrosio. So Ricardo has got up into um, uh, 12th place. It's lap 39 as, not lap 36. So, um, through the second to the last corner, and now Duran's now in the pits from fifth position, and he's joined by a couple of cars as well. So, into the pits comes Salvador Duran, and um, we'll see. Um, I'll have a look at his fuel load in a bit. So, Duran now fueled to the end of the race, and where is he going to rejoin? Let's see. So, 11.2 seconds stop. 
D'Ambrosio is now in the pits, so he's got. There's a couple of cars in the pits as he, D'Ambrosio is now in the pits. So out of his box goes D'Ambrosio, and um, Button is going to pass him. In fact, I think. Yes, he does. Button moves up to 14th, but I think Button is still yet to make his pit stop. Lewis Hamilton, I think the front runners are still yet to make their pit stop as well. Hamilton staying out. Where is Alonso on the track at the moment? Alonso is, he's just come out of turn three at the moment. And uh, he's, I presume, either pitting this lap or next lap. We'll see, um, depending on how much his fuel, his fuel burns out. So Alonso now then approaching turns six, seven, and eight. And... Um, so Alonso now then doing a good job through the right hander and now he's going to come into turn number 9 and 10 and uh, so Alonso now then round the left hander and around he goes and then he'll break for the left then the right and uh, Alonso then round this right hander and um, so through the fourth to last corner then comes Alonso. And is he going to be pitting this lap? Let's see. So Alonso then through the third to last corner. He's having no problems whatsoever. Uh, completely dominating the race at the moment. Only a mechanical problem could probably halt his charge. And he's coming into the pits along with Nick Heifeld that looks like. Heifeld's now coming into the pit. So yeah, Heifeld did need to pit Robert. So um, yeah, I think Ricardo is on a one-stop stat. So from what I saw from the fuel gauge. So... Heifeld and Alonso are now in the pits. And let's see. So, let's see what the pit stop is like for the Esiad crew. And uh, let's see what his pit stop time is going to be. So, out of the pit lane he goes. And he, and Heifeld is having to wait. And the Thomas Cook cars are, guys, are ready. Heifeld has just rejoined out of his box. And it's Lewis Hamilton who's just came into the pits. So, into the pits then comes Lewis Hamilton. And let's see what the crew can do. So, let's see what the pit stop is going to be like then for um, uh, Lewis Hamilton. So, Lewis Hamilton then comes out of his box. And he where's he going to rejoin? He's going to rejoin in. He's now fueled to the end of the race, of course. He rejoins in third position. So, he's only lost one position. So, Lewis stay will... Possibly be joining the second place. Into the pits comes Nico Rosberg from fourth position. So let's see. Let's see what the Martin Jones Racing uh, pit stop is like. I think Rosberg will probably be worried at this point. Uh, he, that he'll hope to not get a tr a, any problems like what Montoya did earlier on. So it'll be interesting to see what happened uh, to Montoya at the end of the race. We will check that out for you because it will say in the results. Verline is now also in the pits. Uh, here he is. Pascal Verline in the pits. And um, let's see what uh, Verline can do. Bird's in the pits as well. And out the pit lane goes Verline. And let's see where Verline is going to rejoin. So Verline is coming out in. Let's see. He's going to rejoin in seventh position. So he rejoins in seventh behind that battle that's going on in front between... Button and D'Ambrosio. It looks like D'Ambrosio has overtook him for 13th there. So D'Ambrosio moving up into 13th position. So, um... And uh, now Verline puts another lap on Jensen Button. So, B Bird is currently in last at the moment. Perez still in the points. So, for that note, Alonso is now leading the race. Because Bottas is now in the pits. Bottas now pits. From uh, from the lead, of course, but now Hamilton has now overtook him, so now Bottas will drop down to third, unless he drops back even further, but we'll see. So, out of the pit lane he goes, and Bottas is going to rejoin in third position. So, he rejoins in front of Mark Webber. Webber still in fourth place at the moment, so this one-stop strategy has clearly worked out for Mark Webber. He's able to get in the top four. Roman Finn's still in the top ten. But Ricardo is actually chasing him at the moment. So Ricardo chasing him down for... Um, uh, what was it? Chasing him down for... Uh, ch 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 chasing him down for 10th uh, position. So 
at the moment, Ricardo trying to chase down the Monster Grand Prix car at the moment. So into turn three then goes Daniel Ricardo, and then through turn four, and now approaching flat out through turn five, and let's see. So into turn six and seven goes Daniel Ricardo. And then around the right hander. And then he will break into turns 9 and 10. So, uh, yeah. That's what the leaderboard is currently uh, looking like at the moment. Oh, no! Ricardo's pulled off! I just didn't notice that! Ricardo has just pulled off the side of the track! Oh, no! Brake problems for Daniel Ricardo! Ricardo is out of the race! And, oh, what bitter luck for Daniel Ricciardo. Both GRMs are now out of the race. And what, look, oh, I feel sorry for Stato in the chat right now. Oh, such a shame. Ricciardo is now out of the race with an engine problem. And, um, so, Verline is now currently in, where is, where is uh, Verline at the moment? Verline is... Uh, currently in 7th place. So now we're down to 14 runners in this race. Ricardo is now out of the race. And, uh, well, just bitter, bitter luck for the GRM mechanics. Both cars are out of the race. Both with same problems. And, um, well, such a shame for the GRM team. They've worked so hard during the test to make sure they're uh, improving their pace and it's just come to nothing because of these engine problems that have haunted the team so um, yep Daniel Ricciardo is now out of the Grand Prix and there's now 14 runners left in the race will Nico Rosberg so um, Duran on the other hand still keeping a relative gap between himself and um, and Friends is now out Robin Friends is now out of the race and there's the culprit. He has transmission problems. So, Robin Friends is now out of the Australian Grand Prix. And now Turn 1 is looking like a car park. So, there's now 13 cars left in this race. And Robin Friends has pulled off the track with a transmission problem. So, out of the race goes Robin Friends. And now there's only 13 runners left in the race. So, Alonso, I think, has pretty much got this race in the bag. So, um, through turn 8, and then he will approach turns 9 and 10. And let's see. So, through that corner then comes Lewis Hamilton. And now he's going to be approaching the chicane, which is turns 11 and 12, I think. And now Grosjean's out of the race. Grosjean is now out of the race. There's 12 runners left. What's happened to Grosjean? And there he is. And it's another transmission problem. Roman Grosjean is now out of the race. And there's only 12 runners left. So they're all dropping like flies at the moment. So Grosjean adds to the list of retirements here in Australia. So out of the race then goes Roman Grosjean. And well that's another one to the list. Anyway. So. Oh he's actually right behind Weber. Thanks for pointing that out mate. So uh. Rosberg is on the back of Weber at the moment, so we've got a battle for fourth at the moment. So where has that come from? Rosberg battling for fourth at the moment, and uh, around the final corner then, is Rosberg going to put an overtake on Mark Weber down the pit straight? Let's see. Rosberg tucked up behind Weber, and he's trying to look to the inside. Rosberg going to the inside of Weber. Is he going to take fourth off the Australian? Down the inside. And Rosberg takes fourth off Mark Weber. So Rosberg moves up into fourth position. So, um... Great stuff. So now Rosberg moving up another position. And is Duran going to take advantage of this as well? Obviously Weber was on a, a very long uh, stint. So it's clear these tyres must be wearing out towards the end of the race. And now everybody who's on like fresher tyres compared to him are slowly catching him up. And it looks like Duran is catching Weber at the moment. And there is a battle for eight. Well, there's Heifeld still struggling to catch up to Sergio Perez at the minute. So, um, yeah, so let's rejoin that battle for fifth position between Weber and Duran at the moment. Duran trying to keep up 
with Webber at the moment. It was the same gap at the end of the lap. So Durant trying his best to get Mark Webber before the end of the race. So, round the right hander and then through the left. And now what is Durant going to do? Is he going to eventually get past Webber before the end of the race? Or is Webber just done enough to keep that fifth position? We'll see. There's still a few more laps to complete before this race is finished. And now Bird's out the race. Sam Bird has now retired from the race. So that's what another cause of engine that's pulled over. And it's an engine failure for Sam Bird. Sam Bird is now out of the race. And that... Now there's 11 runners left, but I think he will classify anyway because he has completed 90% of the race distance. So he will classify in 12th position, and I think Grosjean will as well. So I think he'll classify in 13th position. So Duran now then, round the 4th to last corner. And now the... Third to last corner, there's the yellow flag, so Duran won't be able to do anything to, if he wanted to lunge at Mark Webber, so he's going to have to be patient, but he is looking closer to Webber on this lap. Let's see what the gap is lap then, between Webber and Duran. When they cross the line, they will have three laps to go, but Alonso will cross the lap and he'll have two laps to go. So let's see what the gap is like then, between Webber and Duran at the end of this lap. They're on, these two are on lap 56, but Alonso will be signing lap 57, and Webber's pulling away. So Webber is finding some pace. So I think Duran needs to push a little harder if he wants to take fifth off Mark Webber. Alonso has two more laps to go in this race and he's coming up to the back of Verline. He's about to put a lap on him at the moment. And um, so Button is in 11th at the moment. So the points positions are still the same at the moment. And Duran is still trying to catch up to... Um, Mark Webber at the moment. So, Duran now approaching the next two corners. Through these corners he goes. And now around the right-hander. And let's see. So, through the right, then the left. And um, through the right-hander. And let's see what the gap is like as they will start their penultimate lap. I don't, I think Duran, if he catches up on this lap, he might have a chance if he's able to be consistent in catching up in the next sectors on the next lap. But it just all depends on what the gap is between Weber and Duran at the end of this lap. Let's see. Through the second to the last corner then comes Duran. And now around the final corner. And now let's see what the gap is like between uh, Weber and Duran at the moment. So into turn one. And let's see what the gap is like. And Weber's pulling away. So I think Duran's chances have slipped. So Fernando Alonso then is coming across the line to start his final lap. Alonso on his final lap. And what a race that Fernando Alonso has had. He took pole position. And he was able to... He nearly lost the lead into turn one because of Bottas and Hamilton. But he was able to keep it into turn one. And since then, he's been able to, con to keep the lead and pull away from the rest of the pack. No such problems for Alonso at the moment. And, um, wow, what a weekend he's had. Um, he's been quickest in all the sessions that have been laid down this weekend. And uh, Alonso is now going to add this one to the list to make it a perfect weekend and a brilliant start to IFMC and become the first ever winner in IFMC. So, Alonso now then approaches turn numbers 9 and 10. And... Uh, Alonso's not got that far to go. Um, it did look like he might have had competition from Montoya as we got a yellow flag and now Button's out. Jensen Button is out, so we're going to have to wait for him to cross the line because Jensen Button has got a fire. And that might have given Duran the opportunity to pass Weber. So Button holding up Weber in an absolute treat. And has Duran been able to do it? Button is out with an oil leak. So Button is out of the race with an oil leak. And I think we need to get to that battle for um, fifth position. Duran has got an opportunity in his grasp to take fifth position off Mark Webber. So, round the third to last corner. And then he's going to come around the second to last corner. And is Duran going to launch an attack on the pit straight? Is Duran going to take the position off Mark Webber? Is he going to take fifth? Off the Australian. We might he's not close enough on this lap. So we'll have to look for another chance 
to get past. But meanwhile, Fernando Alonso comes down the pit straight and wins the Australian Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso takes the first ever win in IFMC in convincing fashion. Congratulations to Fernando Alonso indeed. Lewis Hamilton coming around the second to last corner. And let and he will come across the line in second place. Great result from Lewis, splitting the two Etihad. Lewis Hamilton is going to cross the line in second position. Great job from him indeed. And um, what a start to the season it has been. Perez is going to pick up a final point indeed. So he's going to cross the line in eighth. Heifold ninth. And then Bottas is going to cross the line in third position. D'Ambrosio will cross the line in tenth. As uh, Rosberg will be crossing the line in fourth position. But we need to look at the battle for fifth. And Duran has dropped off. So Duran, I don't think he's going to get Weber. I think Weber has done enough to keep hold of fifth position. Rosberg coming around the third to last corner. And now he's approaching the second to last corner. And Rosberg will come around the final corner. And he will cross the line in fourth position. A great start to the season for the Morris Orange Racing guys. Rosberg crosses the line in fourth. Mark Webber done enough and he will cross the line in fifth. Duran behind is going to cross the line in sixth position. Duran crosses the line in sixth. And we'll just wait for Pascal Verlein. He's going to cross the line in seventh position. And that will be everyone finished. I think that's it. Race over. Fernando Alonso winning the race. Fantastic job from Fernando Alonso indeed. So, let's have a look then at the full race results then. And there it is. So, after, after an eventful 58 lap race, here are the final results. Fernando Alonso won the race by 24 seconds in front of Lewis Hamilton. Bottas finished third with Nico Rosberg fourth. Weber fifth. Salvador Duran sixth with Pascal Verlein seventh. Sergio Perez eighth. With Nick Heifeld 9th, Jerome D'Ambrosio 10th, and Jensen Button and Sam Bird were classified. So they classified in 11th and 12th. However, Grosjean and Prince unfortunately didn't. So they were able, so 12 classifiers indeed to the retirements were Roman Grosjean, Robin Frins. Daniel Ricciardo, Max Verstappen, Juan Pablo Montoya had suspension problems. So that's why he retired. Kimi Raikkonen retired. Sebastian Vettel retired. Massa retired, Hulkenberg retired, and as did Ocon. So, mainly, every, most of the drivers that retired were due to transmission or engine problems. So, there you go then. After all of that, Fernando Alonso takes the first ever IFMC win. And not only that, but by convincing fashion ahead of Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas. Only 10 people finishing crossing the line at the end but 12 classified so a very interesting race indeed so much technical problems happened well there you go then so let's quickly have a look at the drivers championship shall we it's the same as the result Alonso takes an early lead with Hamilton second then it is Bottas third with uh, Nico Rosberg fourth then it is Weber fifth Durant sixth then it is Pascal Verlein seventh and Perez in eighth the rest have got nothing so far. In the Constructors' Championship, El Etihad take an early lead by 4 points in front of Thomas Cook Sport. Mario Jones Racing are in 3rd with SIC 4th and then it is AMP 5th with um, El Dorado in 6th. The biggest shockers are Monster in 7th with GB Racing 8th. Then it is Schmidt Racing Incorporated 9th with GRM 10th and Scudero Racing all the way in the last position. Not the start that James Willows wanted. Well, there you go then. That is just about it then from the Australian Grand Prix. A very interesting race indeed. We will see you next week for highlights of the Brazilian Grand Prix, which will come out next week. But until then, that is just about it. So thank you very much for watching. I've been JWF1, and I'll leave you with a bit of a montage of the race. Until then, take care.
This program is sponsored by Ava Media. Brilliant quality for a great price.